Hello and welcome to a feedback video. So we'll jump straight in. I'll keep it brief because I want to keep these shorter. It's taken me ages to upload them. I've had a quick look through. So I can't show you some of them. This one is quite good. Oh yeah, somebody gave me ah right okay, yeah I, I, I've I've gave I've gave some feedback so I'm going to uh, show you this because it's cool. I wish I could move forward and backwards, that's that's the comment I left. Basically. I feel a bit I feel a bit uh, restricted, a bit a bit a bit held in place, you know, I feel limited. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Very cool. Very cool indeed. I can't show you that one because copyrighted music. I will show you this one, which I thought was quite cool. But they have a they put a blaminess on the camera. I do not understand why. Because it just conceals the image. It doesn't. It doesn't enhance the image. It conceals the image. I thought. I was watching it for quite some time and I thought, ah, okay, so what it's going to do is it's going to blare it and then it's going to rotate it and then when it gets so far out, the blare's going to go away and it's going to reveal a bigger picture. Didn't seem to do that. Just seemed to blare the image and continue to blare the image. So that you could no longer see what it was. And this goes on for a long time like that. I don't understand. What are you trying to express with that blariness? So you're rotating that image, right? You're rotating that image, which is meant to be moving the lines and the light to create a pleasing effect. But you can't see the pleasing effect because you've killed some sealed it behind a blurry image. You've got all these lines and all these shadows that look like they might look quite interesting if you could see them, but you can't see them. I don't get this. At all. I don't get that at all. I think you need to clarify that image, just get rid of that blurred, blurred effect. I've shown plenty of him. Uh, one more cameo. Oh yeah, this is quite good. This is quite good. Look, here he is, the man. Quite nicely done, isn't it? Quite nicely done. Now, out of all those characters there, my favourite character is probably... You know, wouldn't it? Is that... Oh, no, Batman. Ah, oh, that's the wrong one, and it's the wrong lot. I never know. I don't follow the cartoons I watch. <laughs> you said cartoons. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't follow it that much. I never have, even when I was a kid. I was a Beano man. I used to watch Beano. It's like reading the Beano. Superheroes didn't do much for me. Portal Shader, a grid. Uh, oh, this. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing with this. This is just a bit too hectic for my liking. Right. The control scheme's hidden by the graphics for a start. And it wants to pull me off. Constantly, for some reason. Yeah, 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 yeah,
Does it look at Little Spud? I'll give him a like because I like the looks of Little Spud already. Mm. He's a rotating Little Spud. Oh, look, the poor devil's been sat on biscuits all night. I'd like... What I'm hearing here is, when he gets full, facing the camera, he goes... Bleh! But as he's rotating, you hear a music box. Ding, 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 ding. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yoshi's escape. I've already seen that. Majora's mask, laundry pool. It's Majora's last, so I'm assuming it's going to be it's copyrighted music on that. So I will not look at that. The crayon splat attack. Now I'll show you the instructions. It's a two-player game, so I'll just show the instructions. Okay. Think that's a bit of a sweat rather than playing trying to play it because it's a two player game. This is Basil, they will be your character. You move them with the left stick and hold R1 to paint. There are 48 of these squares. The game lasts 60 seconds. When the 60 seconds are finished, the player with the most paint in a square wins that square. Tied squares are awarded to both tied players. Most squares won wins the game. There are three power-ups. They light up here when you have collected one. There's splat. Oh my tummy hurts. Which is used by pressing R3. There's speed. Oh I've got the window pops. Which is used by pressing L3. <laughs> There's freeze, it's freezing. which is used by pressing L1. So will you be a loser, or will you be a winner? Happy gaming. Yes, you see, and it's a, a two-player game, so... They're very nice. See the instructions, go and play it. Try it out yourself with a friend. Optimus Prime. Uh, I thought it was just cool, but I couldn't understand why I limited him to a very small environment. I like little cracks, though. Nice cracks on the floor. Very nice. Maybe that's why you did. Maybe that's why you limited him. Because you wanted to show that off. Eh. Yeah. Very nice, very nice indeed. Very nice. Interactive 80s room, you've seen this, but I want to show you something that I missed before. I, mi I, I missed lots of things. But I want to point it out, because this is a feedback video, why I missed those things, and what you need to do to rectify that thing I overlooked. It's actually quite obvious. Let's have a look. Right, see? Now, there's an extra sketch somewhere. There's an extra sketch. Right, so you... What you do... Right, you interact. Right, put your D-pad down. And you go to the next one. A D-pad down again, and you go to that. But why does it not tell you? And you can play extra sketch, obviously. But why haven't you got a D-pad down? Why don't you tell people you need to D-pad down? You see? Yeah, definitely. You need to instruct people to D-pad down there. Yeah, you can play, collect for. Uh, yes, yeah, so I bet this, yeah. Yeah, collect for, that'll be... Is that not Dirty Harold's? Oh, who is that that made it? I can't remember the name of him. But yeah, give a D-pad down. 
let people know. Eh, uh, to change record. I wanted one of those as a kid. I got a Yamaha Rogan in the end. Ding, ding, do, 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 do. Cool. Yeah, very nice. Rex in space. Rex in space. I'm going to give you a like. Right, I'm going to say... I think, in general, you need to stop these ponderous openings. Right, because... You're thinking... You're thinking AAA. You're thinking how professionals do it, how they do it in the industry. But you're introducing a tiny, tiny little slice of your game. A tiny, tiny slice of your game that isn't honed to perfection. So you're having a big opener, right? Big cinematic opener and a ponderous big cinematic uh, opening at that. Two a tiny slither of a game. You're setting yourself up for a fall. People are building expectations when they see a build up like this. They're expecting something. So I would just show you level off to start with and then when you've got something substantial then have a cinematic this little Rex walking around here we are little Rex walking around Who makes Rex? Who makes Rex, by the way? A last good look at the credits, I suppose. To see what's through this door. Okay, we'll see for this. What through this door? I hope I can get this out in time. I was up late today. Here you go, and there we are now. Oh, got another door. We got another door. We got doors. We got lots of doors. Yeah, cool. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, I would consider those uh, big cinematic openings. 31st Century Space Cadet. Oh, I showed you that on a, on a uh, separate video, didn't I? So there's no point in showing that. For Elm Street. Another one with a U cinematic, I think. Might be mistaken. It might be a different one. Oh, it's a different one. Yes. It's a different one. Oh, I was thinking of that jet. What was I thinking of? So you basically walk around this environment. Uh, popsicle was here. Popsicle. Until the uh, Kruger comes, as far as I know, and that's about it. It's, that's what I could. Uh, that's what I've seen to find out. You just walk around until Kruger comes. Not entirely so. And each incident is logged as an incident and is six to find. Yeah, that was one, I think, coming. That's cool. Yep. Don't know what to. I don't know that. Cool. And that sharp. Balance, I wasn't sure about this. I wasn't sure. I felt the character was a little bit... Um, messy, is the word. 
I would use a little bit I don't know I would lose a lot of those marks on a body and a dress it's just a little bit the lines are all broken up the lines of the character are broken up too much I think either that or damp or take down the luminescence a bit maybe that might bring it together a bit more control Ooh, what's going on here oh there's the controls force nature okay Yes, there's the force nature. Is this something people do it on purpose, or is that a problem? When it when something gets pushed back, I mean, why would you, why would you push, why would you want the cat to be pushed back every time she did did that? Yeah, I couldn't. Yeah, it was a little bit. In the end, I decided just to jump over. Take a stroll down here. See what's going on. But still well made, you know? It's just that character. Just a little bit too much on that character. It's a well made character, but the lines are broken up by that luminescence. I feel as if you're losing the character, so to speak. Amidst all the busyness. Busyness, yeah. It's busy. Rather messy probably isn't the right word. It's busy. It's a bit too busy on the eye. Yes. And that's me. And remove the puppeteering too. Why people are leaving that puppeteering on, I do not know. It can be turned off. I'm sure it can. Sit by this. See it. Oh, I've seen that. I put it in a short. Uh, Customization. Oh yeah, this. Right, you've got customization. But why haven't you got the camera set to do it? Because I can't. There's also some feedback on that sound effect for some reason. Yeah. Nice, but it's a pity you picked a, a generic, uh, pretty generic puppet to do that on. I think it would have been nice on a more in interesting character. Tropical. Uh, yes, music. I covered too much music, I think. Noppers for all. Yeah, what are noppers? Somebody explain to me what noppers are. I'm assuming there's something, some delicacy from a foreign land somewhere. I can't imagine they're American. And they're certainly not British. Unless it's a new brand I'm not aware of. <coughs> Noppers sounds it's European, maybe Denmark, Sweden, a sort of area. Noppers, German even. Yeah, I don't know what Noppers are. Project Ashtar. I showed that in a short recently. If you want to go and watch my recent short, it's in that. Pointless series. Bit of an odd one, this. I have seen this before. But I sort of say... That sound effect. I like that sound effect. Oops. It's a nice sound effect, that. 
and you get a variety of pointless things to do. There you go. Bowls to tip over, roll around, things like this. Uh. All right, that fills the bowl up, I see. Yeah, that's quite pointless, but fun. Yeah, cannon. I don't know, there's a game here somewhere. I'm sure there is. Angry Birds, maybe. But I couldn't understand because, right, you hold R2 to shoot. But this moment you, but it's it's subject to the analog. So you you have to keep holding it and moving it. Why? Why don't you leave it? Why don't you leave it? Where it is? Yeah. I can't. I can't get on with keeping. I, 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 I rocking back and forth. Why don't you just leave it where it, where you move it to? Wizard's house. It's cool. It's cool. But I I feel as if a cinematic camera is what you want to lead the player through it. Yeah, see, come in. It's it's a nice. I think a cinematic camera to give you a bit of a tour of the outside using R one or L one, and then we then come to the door, get rid of this nasty, horrible imp. There's a book there. Okay, yeah, get rid of this horrible, nasty imp, and you come inside. And you hit that. But I do this all with the X button and cinematics. Cinematic camera. So that we could just get rid of that horrible imp. It's a nice image, isn't it? It is a face. Bait of stars. Yeah, cool. Very nice. But I would definitely put that on R1, L1, and make it a cinematic with X moving the, the uh, stuff forward rather than the imp. Survival Island. Yes, I didn't know what to make of this. It might be a little bit overcomplicated to show in about a two second clip. But it's a uh, uh, look. Select tool, sprint, crouch, all these. I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing because none of those instructions bear any fruition. Bear any fruit. No. Yeah. Uh, pick that up. Now this is uh, a but imagine something along the lines of Don't Starve. I always use Don't Starve because it's the least janky version of one of these genres I've seen. The rest always seem to be games that I would never touch. There was a Conan one I believe and then there was another one and every time I saw footage of it it was like how can you play that? It's a mess. So yes. Yoss. Not my favourite genre, but Don't Starve was one of my favourite games. Uh, in my abyss. Yeah, this was quite good, but why on earth you use this camera? I don't know. Oh, yes, I didn't. Ah, oh, no. Oh, I'll give it the full. I'll give it the full version. Let me. I'll show people the full version of the intro. I just don't get the reason you've used this camera. Why you've used a cinematic camera. And why you've beveled the camera the way you have. 
I do not understand. Am I waking from a nightmare? Am I wake? Am I waking from a heavy night on the booze? What is the point in that camera? What are you trying to convey to the watcher? What emotion are you trying to convey with that camera to the watcher? What are you saying? A trying to give the impression he's wearing a virtual reality goggles. Is this supposed to represent a visor? Or is it metaphorical? Is the narrowing in the centre of the, the lens reminiscent of a narrowing of his vision? And that if he looks further afield, the wheels is vaster and more interesting than he would imagine? What is the point in this camera? There's, you don't just do something for the sake of it, do you? You don't just, it's like you don't just write a sentence and put a word in that sentence for the sake of putting that word in that sentence. You think long and hard about which word you want to use and why you're using that word. Because that word's, word comes with baggage. That word conveys things that have been conveyed with that word over the years. Like imagery comes with baggage. It comes with things that are attached to that imagery. The sea, for instance, comes with a sense of longing, of looking into the future or looking into the past, of contemplation. So I'm not sure why you've used this camera on this. Be interested to see what you were trying to convey with the camera. I mean, you've got to have selected the camera for a reason, right? And not used just the normal camera. You have to have had, you've had to have think now, I'm going to bevel the camera in the middle and give it a cinematic because, and you must have a reason for doing it, otherwise there will be no point in doing it. If you get what I mean. I'd like to know what your reasoning is, why you did it. Oh yeah, I, I, I couldn't get up the stairs for some reason. Just a bit weird. Yeah, not stuck. But interesting, yeah, definitely interesting. Not quite sure what it's meant, what is meant by all this. But interesting, nevertheless. In my abyss, that's the one I just looked at, isn't it? Not Blade Runner. Jimmy J. 75. Oh. Mm. Space Adventure Cosmos. Let's have a look at this. Ooh, let's have a look at this. Good day, Captain. Well, first thing I'm going to say... I'm not entirely sure about the... the uh,
color scheme. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know about the color scheme. Can I go down there? Or is that a block end that was... Maybe I just throw it, do I? And drop it. Do I go over that way, perhaps? Oh yeah. I see. Oh, Ooh, I made it. Ding. I like the music. Better not be copyrighted. Ding. Yeah, all in all, though. It's just a. Uh, yeah. I know it'd be a bit of a pain in the backside to go around and change the colour scene on everything in this scene, but you could always try muting the colours with a filter. Maybe muting the colours with the filter would uh, bring it together a bit better. I just think it's a little, it's a little too stark. Yeah, I'd, I'd bring the colour palette down a bit with a filter, and maybe even introduce a slight grainy effect. That might work. Uh, yeah, I'll give you a like for that. Space Adventure. Oh, it keeps going back one. I don't like that. The Last Dreamer. That's... I can't keep showing you, man. Home at Last. That is the same adventure as the one earlier on. Spooky Forest. Is that... Okay, let me have a look. You sent me a lot of stuff. I'll well, have a quick look because you are quite good. It's Rex again. What's going on with this Rex theme? Okay, so this is a spooky forest. Killed by asteroids. It lies Rex killed by asteroids. It's a bit of an odd creation this. Yes I'll give you a like. I think we're moving into Yeah that we've got in some music now. Soul Legacy reveal trailer. Soul Reaper, mm, I'm not going to look at that, that might be some copyrighted music in that. I'm not risking it. Planetoid Tech de Test. Let's have a look. Generating World, oh yes I showed this didn't I? Yeah so I am, yeah, I'm not going to show that. Right, there we go. Yes we'll go across here now. And look at this. Ooh, part. Uh, that is excellent. That is excellent. I've got a video out on that as well, by the way. Omni cart. If you want to check my the quick fixes out, you won't have to scroll through very far. I think it's either the second or the third one in. Excellent. There's uh, a room at the end of the thing. We've seen that before. Home entry. Let's have a look at this, because this was in the. Yeah, ent Entropy Tamed. This was in the beta, I think. Oh, that's it. And this will be the last thing to look at. Oh, well, there you go. Yes, that was quite a nice little... I see. Ah, nice. Yes, this is better. I can see what he's done there. Isn't it a pity we've got imps, though? Isn't it a pity? These horrible imps. I really could do without the imp, to be honest. Now you've got a free camera now as well, that's much better. That's much better. Yeah, the free camera is a much better idea. I can't go upstairs, can I? Can I? Oh, 
Oh, we can go to the kitchen. That is excellent. Oh, well done, man. That is awesome. That is awesome, man. I can't go upstairs to the bedroom, can I? Oh, I can go upstairs to the bedroom. This is excellently done. Excellently done, man. This is very nice. This is very nice indeed. Oh, wow. This is fantastic. I've got to take a picture of that. Oh, this imp, though. This imp. If we try to get this. If I put the imp up there, that would be. God, I mean, try to get the imp out of the way. Let's be able to take this picture. Oh, it's down there now. Let me get rid of that imp. Oh, that'll cut it off there. Oh. To cut it off this side, maybe. Right then. Okay, we'll go outside again. What's the ones we've got here? Can we go through a door at the back here? Oh, we can. Oh, we've got a cupboard. A walking cupboard. <laughs> okay. What am I doing? Am I got all gone? Ooh, what's going out here? Hey, I'm outside. <gasps> I've broken your game, man. Sorry, man. Yeah, that's cool, man. That's so cool. I can't go outside, can I? I've got to go to the living room again. Yeah, excellent stuff, mate. Marvellous. Marvellous stuff. And that's it. We'll call that a day. Go back here, I will say. My usual. Very well. Doodle pip. Au revoir. And all that good stuff. Yeah, I'll see you another one, folks. Thanks for watching. Bye.